so far the code which we have written in transact sql was for the single execution means we were not able to reuse those particular pre-written codes but if i want to do that what should we do obviously the first option is to store that particular code as the database object in the database memory so that whenever required we can call them up and one of the way of doing that is by stored procedure as stored procedure is one of the database object which actually stores the transact a logical transact sql block when i say logical that means it must be doing some particular task so that is what we can do by using the stored procedure is a database object which contains a set of logical tsql statements it also increases the performance of the database activities how basically whenever we were executing the block it was first getting compiled and then it got executed so every time when we execute that the compilation time is included but when we create this stored procedure at the time we create it the compilation is done so after that whenever we execute that only the execution time will be elapsed as the compilation is already done so this is how the performance benefit will be there by the time you will be working with stored procedure as i said earlier it will also allow you for the reusability as once a procedure is created you can call it as many as times you want the access can also be controlled as it is a database object and for a particular audience you can grant the access of this procedure and for some particular you may not grant so it is its access can be controlled as well and whenever you want to invoke that it is it can be invoked directly or by using the exec or execute keyword so firstly we will see how can we create the procedure using the create uh, keyword again once it is done once once the creation is done we will see how can we execute and initially we will write a simple stored procedure and after we'll start writing the complex parameterized uh, stored procedures so let's find out practically about the stored procedures so now as you have already seen this particular program in the previous example of cursors if i find it is useful enough so that i can store it permanently for the future usage i can plan to store it as the stored procedure now to make it stored procedure what the only thing i'll have to do in the very first line i'll just write create proc or procedure in short you can also write proc and then procedure name like emp cell increment that's the name of procedure and then as keyword so now this particular procedure is uh, if when you will execute the procedure will be created with the compilation so every time when you will execute this emp cell increment it will just make the increment on all the employees working in department 30 but every time incrementing the salary of department 30 only may not be the good idea so i want to make it generalized like whatever the uh, department i want to increment means in whichever department i want to do the increment i should be able to pass that at the runtime so for doing that what i can do since the procedure is already created so i will replace this create with the alter since i'm going to alter the structure and now in this emp cell increment store procedure i will add the department as the parameter so dept id as int and this is what this is the parameter for the stored procedure emp cell increment so let's execute it again and you see command completed successfully now i will be able to call this at the runtime and not only that because i have add the argument here so rather than passing 30 i will use this value right here so every time when i will call this procedure i'll have to pass a department id so all the searching will be done on that department employees accordingly all right so let's do that let's execute it again all right so now it is altered 
So let's now see how can we execute this stored procedure. So for executing, either I can use this execute exec or execute keyword or after uh, and after that what I'll do I'll just pass the name of this stored procedure that is EMP cell increment and after that I'll have to pass the department ID so as soon as I'll do that let's execute and you see all the employees working in that particular department the salary got increased alright so everyone who are earning less than 50,000 being salary being increment by 10 and if someone is earning greater than or equal to 50,000 the salary is increased by 5 so this is how you can create the stored procedure and at the runtime you can pass the parameters to make the changes accordingly now let's have one more example of stored procedure and here what I have done I have used two different types of parameters like in the previous example what I did I passed the parameter in which by the time of execution I passed some value into that and as per that value the operation got occurred now here I am using two different types of parameter like the first one is the ID which I have to pass when I will call this sample procedure but apart from that we have two more arguments such as name and salary but the main thing out here is these are of output types output means here for these particular parameters we actually will not pass any value by the time we will call it but these parameter will pass some value to the calling environment means they are reverse in the direction so far in for parameters like this we used to pass the value from the calling environment but they will pass the value to the calling environment so for implementing let's execute this first to create now this procedure has been created and now in order to execute that again I will have to pass some variables which will be able to store the value for these parameters so for doing that here is the code written in which I use this begin then I declared a couple of variables for the name and salary and wait a minute let's uh, yeah sh I didn't get the salary here so let me add that as well salary and now I will have to alter this procedure alright so let me execute this alright now I will be able to do that so here I have taken a couple of variables for EMP name and salary and by using the execute command I can call this sample proc and after this 10 the employee ID which I will pass to the parameter number 1 which is ID and this will get passed here in the EMP ID but remaining two parameters like name and cell will be read from the table such as first name and salary column and these they will pass the value to these two parameters and again if you are uh, passing it as an output parameter you will have to use the out or output keyword here as well in both the ways alright so now the signature is matched so let's execute this one alright since 10 is not an employee ID so let me pass a, another value like 101 now I got the value like EMP name and salary so using the execute or exec keyword you can call the procedures with the various types of parameters such as the input parameters like ID here or output parameters like name and salary 